So to start this four strand buckle cord, we're going to get one end of our buckle and I've got my paracord here and the amount uh, you're going to use will depend on the length of your brace and type of weave you're doing. I'm just going to do mine's a little bit shorter just to fit everything in frame. So I've got my paracord doubled over and I'm going to take these first two strands and just uh, pass them through the top of the buckle like that. Okay. Then I'm going to pull everything through like this and you're going to create a loop on the bottom like this and this loop will be the length of your bracelet okay from here to here you're going to have to determine the length of your bracelet and that will be this loop here so we're going to do the double cow hitch up here I'm going to pull the strand on the right all the way through. I'm going to go outwards that way and then we're going to go behind go in through behind the buckle, the bottom part of the buckle come back through the front and then see this loop here, same thing, we're going to pull it through the loop we made on the right side and pull it shut. Okay, that's cow's hitch number one we do the same thing on this side. Okay, I'm gonna pull it through to the front, and you're gonna pass it outside that way to the outside of the buckle, or kind of outside of the bracelet. You can think of it that way. I'm gonna take this end, same thing. We're going to pass it through the back of the buckle to the front, and then we're gonna go through the loop we created on this side same thing as the other, just mirrored on the other side. Okay, so we've got our double cow's hitch like this set up. Now we're going to switch over to the other side. Next we're going to just turn everything around just so it's really clear what I'm doing. So we've got our buckle on the bottom here. You want to take your other buckle, the other end, make sure they're facing the right sides. Now you're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to incorporate this extra strand. So up top, we've got our loop there. Strand on the right. Again, we're going to go through the top, like this, through the top of the buckle. And we're going to bring it back, but we're going to go through this loop here we created. Pull everything through, like that. And then again, you're going to pass it that way, out to the outside of the bracelet like that and then we're going to come through the bottom like so and then back through the loop we just created like this see see what we did there okay I'm going to pull that tight now at this point you're going to want to make sure the inner and outer strands are equal for your bracelet okay like that, you want to pull it tight and have these equal. And then now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I've got my strand on the left. I'm going to go through the top of the buckle, pull everything through. Just make sure everything's not twisted, like that. Make sure they're equal. And then bring the strand through the loop we created, pass it to the outside, like that. Oh, we're getting all caught up here, it's okay. There we go, pass it to the outside like that. And then with this end, same thing, we're gonna pass it through the bottom like that, and then through the loop we created. And then pull it shut like that, okay. Then you're gonna wanna cinch up, get all the slack out. And there you go. Okay, you can, as you can see, we have double cow's hitch up top. If this was a uh, smaller buckle, these two cow's hitches would, would, would be uh, you know, a lot more taut and neat. Okay, so but there you can see we've got the four strand core, like that, got the loop on the inside, and two cow's hitches on each side. 
and now you're ready to start weaving your bracelet going down this way with these two outer strands. So that is how to do the double cow's hitch four strand core. And uh, yeah, hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, if you haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe. That would really help me out. All right, so that's about it. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye.